Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. We have an unboxing and demo of the new Boss SY-1 synth pedal. Um, got this from Long McQuaid today on rental. And uh, it's one of the newest bad boys out from Boss. So I thought, let's take it for a spin. I've never used one of these things before. And uh, I've watched a couple of videos and thought, seems interesting. wonder how good it really is. We have to know. So we have our usual paperwork, you know, our manual. We've got a little registration card in here. Oh, looks like we got some inspection papers. And of course, we're not reading the manual. We don't need to, right? It's a boss pedal. How hard can it be, right? Anyways, let's check out this pedal. Now, if you're looking for one of these after we're done the video and you do live in Canada, there will be a link to the Long McQuaid website, okay? So you can buy it online from Long McQuaid if you're in Canada, or you can simply go into your nearest Long McQuaid store. Mine's only a 20 minute drive away. So, what do we have? We have the synthesizer SY-1, and we have an input, we have an expression and control connection, um, looks like we have a return and send as well as output. Okay, as far as knobs go, we've got effect and direct. We have under tone, we have uh, rate and depth. That's kind of interesting. Variations, uh, we have 11 in total. And type, we have sequencer. Uh, I guess that's what it'd be, S-E-Q, uh, S-F-X, organ, bell, um, S-T-R, I guess for string, bass, uh, pad, and lead. So, wow, that's uh, quite a bit of interesting stuff. So we're going to start this out with just defaults, uh, starting at, you know, selection one and starting on the lead side, and we're going to leave the rest of our controls at 12 o'clock. Now, like all Boss pedals, there should be a battery in here. And yes, there is a battery. And yes, it is already hooked up right from the factory. All right, so we're gonna use battery power. And we're gonna hook this thing up into my Katana 100 watt 1 by 12. And we're gonna fire up. Um, I'm gonna take out uh, Sarah, my beautiful Les Paul, my Gibson Les Paul. So let me get this thing all plugged and hooked and re-angle the camera and it's instant for you. Okay guys, we're all hooked up to uh, check this little puppy out. So we've got the Gibson Les Paul studio out, we're on the bridge and here's the clean. No reverb, no other effects. I've actually got this pedal going direct to the amp. I've disconnected all my floor pedals turned off every effect on the amp, so we just have bass, mid, and treble at 12 o'clock. So let's fire it up. So I'm just going to go through these settings one at a time. We're going to start on the lead and then just rotate through, go back, next one, and so on. Cool. 
can see some potential here. I think I need to double check the price on the website. This thing is too cool. We've barely touched into it yet. Oh, that's neat. church music a whole new spin. Alright, let's go back to number one. Let's check out our next one. That was lead, so this is the pad.
pretty interesting tones here. Okay, so this is going to be string, I guess they call it. This is string, my bad. So that was bass, this one is string. Ah, oh, that's, that's string, definitely.
this should be bell. up here <laughs> no that was bell so so we got organ bell um, wow the way these patterns are guys it's kind of like so that should have been bell now let's see what this does anyways well, that's kind of weird to the knob this should be SFX
is actually not FX because I had two more turns. So that was actually actually a very good question. We're gonna have to really figure this thing out. We got the majority of them correct of what they actually are. Okay, so this is definitely a sequencer, so that was definitely F SFX, and we're guessing from before that was definitely the bell, the organ, and you get the idea. That's neat. So we haven't even touched on the other controls yet. I know this video is getting long. But I think we need to just kind of do something like this. and direct. I guess direct might have something to do with our send. I don't know. We'll have to actually read the manual, but to do this we don't need the manual. Thank you. 
so we have a pretty good idea what the controls do anyways. Um, that one control, I guess the direct. Yeah, it's direct. It probably has to do with the send. I'm not sure. I'll have to read the manual. But we wanted to demo this and just find out every sound this thing pretty much can do. You know, with the exception of going through all 11 on mixing with dials again. But I think it's a pretty neat thing. There's definitely a lot of, a lot of usable tones in it, um, which I think are really cool. Um, you can hook up an expression control uh, pedal to it as well to do other features, which we'll have to read the manual about, obviously. Um, I think it's really neat. Um, they did a great job with it, to be honest. Of course, Boss usually does a great job with everything they do, for the most part. They've had a few lemons over the years, but uh, otherwise, Boss really does know their stuff. Um, I think for me, uh, there would definitely be some usable tones. Uh, without any difficulty. Um, well, actually, quite a few usable tones. Uh, so that won't be any kind of an issue. Um, I don't know as far as buying this thing goes for me. I have to recheck the price on the website. I am definitely interested in it, though. It's definitely uh, got my interest sparked uh, quite a bit. So I've <laughs> taken a look at... Uh, other sense type of pebbles out there, and honestly, they suck. Boss, they just do it right the first time. Um, you do have a lot of control over each effect and each um, variation of each effect, too. So that's, that's quite neat, and it would take us probably hours to go through all 11 variations of each effect with all the different possibilities uh, of controls. But... I think we've covered quite a bit of ground here. So if this doesn't convince you to buy the thing, I have no idea. But if you're interested in something like this, check out the Long & McQuaid website if you're in Canada. If you're not in Canada, of course, well, even if you are in Canada and you don't want to shop at Long & McQuaid, that is totally up to you, okay? So you can get these things at other places, I'm sure. Um, but I like dealing with Long & McQuaid because they're just the best music store there is, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and they have like what over a hundred stores now, so it's just crazy. Um, but um, I think it, I think it's a fantastic pedal. As far as the star rating goes, I'm pretty much I would I would definitely have to give it I think a, an honest four and a half out of five. Okay. It is quality build, it is boss, after all. It isn't perfect, though. That's the thing. Um, the um, build quality is there. It comes with a battery. You can run it off a 9-volt power supply. Even though boss does recommend their power supply, you don't have to. Um, you can use an outlaw power supply or any pedal power supply, as long as it has enough milliamps. And, of course, being 9-volt as well. And the correct polarity which pretty much every power supply out there, for the most part, is the proper polarity uh, for virtually any pedal. So, anyways, that being said, you're still going to get a lot of life out of the battery. So if you are going to use the included battery, uh, you'll, get, you'll get a lot of life out of it. Just make sure that you unplug stuff from the pedal uh, when you're not using it, if you're going to run on battery, because otherwise it's just going to kill the battery. So, you know... But, um, otherwise, yeah, I mean, color aside, I love the color. I love the white lettering. makes it pretty easy to read. Um, a couple of the effects, I was pretty sure what they were, and maybe they actually were that. So, you know, we, we don't have to worry too much about that. Um, the sounds are very interesting. Very good quality sound. And uh, so that was quite surprising. I've seen a couple of videos on this. And some of the videos didn't really impress me too much, and a couple of them weren't too bad, but, you know, it's like anything else. I have to know. So, I rented it to try it out, see if I like it, see if I can actually use it. If I think, I'm going to think about this. I'm not going to rush decision it, but I'm going to think about it. And if I feel that for the kind of music I do, if I can use this, then I'll more than likely buy it. Um, but otherwise, 
Probably not if I can't really use it. But it is still, regardless, a really cool toy. And if you need this sort of thing, or want this sort of thing, well, it's there. That's how you're going to get it, okay? Um, so do check out the link below. It is for Long and McQuaid, but go wherever you wish. Uh, if you're outside of Canada, of course, you're going to have to figure out who carries Boss stuff for you um, via websites or stores. And try and, and try it out yourself. Take a spin on it. Now, I was using my Gibson Les Paul Studio. It's a 2018 Studio Smokehouse Burst uh, with 57 Classic and Classic Plus pickups. I was on the bridge pickup for the entire video. That's it. And um, I like it. I, I think it's a really neat machine. So, uh, But it's, it's in the end, if you can use it, buy it. You know what I mean? It's like anything else. So, that being said, thanks very much for watching, guys, and tuning into the video. I do have another pedal review coming up for you guys. Um, and I'm thinking you're going to be really excited for that one. Because I know there's a lot of people been also asking questions too that we will give you the answers to on that particular pedal too. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.